nothing to play for, and as long as they're alive, you think that this Argo team would keep giving a good effort as Mathis loses it, now gets it back and scores. Second try for Marquis, and you can already tell reputation calls. There's no question about it, but that's something that he earned with his stellar play at the beginning of the season as Mathis knocks down. This Argonaut team has been playing their best basketball. They haven't always gotten the results, but they've still played very well as Moore scores through lots of contact. <laughs> I would say since the West Georgia game, they have the ball out and repost. Then he'll have a wide open shot. Gave it up so that Fail could take a three-pointer that bounced off the backboard and would not fall. Rebounded. The second try is no good. Now Mindenhall loads up and connects. 18 to 13 to force it to White, who's not really a scorer, especially from that spot on the court. Well, Mindenhall got a screen from Fitch, who rolls out, hands back to Mindenhall, and Alquan Mindenhall is starting to heat up. Second team in a similar scenario came out and played with a lot of intensity tonight and got the victory. The men haven't quite matched that as Mindenhall gives West Alabama the lead. Seconds to play. First half, Lewis drives the paint, kicks to Mathis left corner. Marquise wants to penetrate. He'll look down low. Great slip to McGee, who lays it in. The double team came by White, who's trying to force him right. Beavers went left anyway, leaves for Thompson. 15-footers, an air ball, almost looked like a pass to Beavers, who lays it in. Not a lot the Argos can do right there. And now a turnover by Keldrick White as he was trying to Start one last play. He stepped over the end line, so now West Alabama is going to get another shot. Give them more, you know, momentum going into the half. Beavers looking to inbound. Mendenhall, left corner, fadeaway three is good. Unbelievable the way that the first half ends. Remini period from Pensacola. Tigers up by eight. You're watching West Florida basketball at goargos.com who's posting up for the first time tonight. Now Canole falling away, launches one towards the basket, no good. Offensive rebound to Jamar Moore. He'll hit White at the free throw line. Out to Canole for three. Yes, sir. Peter Canole from downtown. Patrick White, although Coleman not really a scorer, much more of a distributor. Gave it up, got it back. Now he'll try to drive on White, tries to force it, scores in the foul. Well, we're five times tonight. Attacking the rim and getting his basket swatted away. Oh, what a jam by Marquise Mathis. Lewis left it off the backboard. We'll have a stoppage of play at the next dead ball. Now left elbow, Brazil's jumper. Nothing but the bottom of the net. 46 to 42. Timeout, West Alabama. Contested, might have been tipped by Mathis. Rebounded by Canole, long pass ahead. Mathis jams it home. Can extend the lead. Crossing over Mindenhall, looking left. Now drives right with help from a screen by Mitchell, and he nails another three. Left side, back to Brazil and back to Peter with 17 to shoot. Over to Lewis, right wing three. Yes, sir. Timeout Argonauts after Lewis. Second one on the way for Dixon, and it's good. A confident stroke, 66-62. You don't have to have a three if you're West Florida, but you do have to score quickly. More into the forecourt. More drive to the rim. Double clutches and scores off the glass. Timeout called by West Florida. They have just one more. It's a simple box out on a free throw. One more for Mendenhall. He's at eight three-pointers tonight, but his biggest shot of the night is a three-pointer, and he missed it. Rebounded by Moore. Ahead to Lewis. That's a two-point basket. His feet were on the line. That's a two-point basket. His feet were on yeah. the line. It's good. Yeah. It is not a tie no, game. His not. feet were on the line. 67-66 with .3 seconds to go. That is absolutely the right call. Yeah, I hate to say it, no. but that is absolutely the right call. West Alabama has to do is inbound it. They'll throw it up. It's caught by Fitch, and West Alabama will escape with the win. Final score in Pensacola, West Alabama 67, West Florida 66, another great game by Marquise Mathis with 21. Mike Lewis and Jamar Moore turned it on down the stretch. 11 for Mike and 10 for Jamar, but 17 free throws really did, or 17 turnovers really did West Florida in.